Welcome back to another episode of our Made with Love series. As you guys know, all month long, I'm sharing awesome edible gift ideas. And I love edible gifts because I really do believe they are a delicious way to show someone how much you care. Today, it is all about popcorn. Popcorn makes a fantastic edible gift because it's easy to make and it's super customizable. So you can actually create a custom flavor for every person in your life. Today, I'm going to show you my festive crunch popcorn, some hot chocolate popcorn, and some everything flavored popcorn that actually tastes a lot like an everything bagel. How yummy does that sound? Don't forget that all of these awesome recipes and these adorable labels are all available in my Made with Love ebook. All of the details are in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. Now let's get started with our festive crunch popcorn. For all of these popcorn recipes, I am using homemade popcorn that I air popped myself. If you've never done this before, it's actually a lot easier than you probably think. I've left a link to a tutorial in the description box below, so I highly recommend you check it out. All right, so I've got my popcorn all laid out and looking beautiful, and all I'm going to do is melt some white chocolate over a double boiler. And what I have here are just these white chocolate baking chips. And baking chips are just a little more stable than traditional white chocolate, which is why I like using them when I'm making this sort of dessert. Now that our chocolate is super silky smooth and beautiful, we just wanna transfer it to a zipper bag. I find a drinking glass to be such a handy way to do this. And all we're gonna do is drizzle this amazing chocolate over our popcorn. Good things happen when white chocolate touches popcorn. And then I'm going to top it with a whole lot of crushed candy cane. Now, if you can't find crushed candy cane dust at your local bulk food store, do not worry. You can do this in your food processor with just some candy canes. It's gonna stick to the white chocolate, which is now sticking to the popcorn. And what we've created is the most decadent, holiday-flavored popcorn you can imagine. Next up, I wanna show you my hot chocolate popcorn. How amazing does that sound? So I've got my beautiful popcorn spread out on a baking sheet, and to that I'm going to add a few good handfuls of mini marshmallows, because what would hot chocolate be without some marshmallows? So we've got some gorgeous chocolate here. I'm doing this with some beautiful semi-sweet baker's chocolate that I had on hand. You could definitely do this with some chocolate chips. And I've got a double boiler happening, and I'm just gonna let that chocolate start to melt. I'm going to transfer my chocolate to a zipper bag once again and then drizzle it all over my beautiful popcorn. And you wanna get as even a layer as you can. Get all of that chocolate out. And for me, the final step is really all about adding a little color. And in this case, I am doing it with some holiday colored sprinkles. Sprinkles make everything better. Finally today, I wanna to show you what I'm calling my everything popcorn. Now this is a savory popcorn, which of course I love because I'm a salt person, but the best part about it is that it actually tastes a lot like an everything bagel. What's not to love about those flavors? All right, so this time I've got my popcorn standing by in a big pot, and then in a little saucepan, I'm simply going to melt some butter. Dear butter, how I heart you. All right, so once our butter is nice and fired up like so, it is time to add our everything flavors. I'm combining some sesame seeds, some poppy seeds, some dried minced onion, and some dried minced garlic. I'm going to whisk this all together with my butter and then pour it over my popcorn. On goes the lid and I'm going to shake this popcorn vigorously until it is evenly coated in all this deliciousness. Ta-da! Amazing everything popcorn. I'm just going to pour it out on a baking sheet and finish it off with some beautiful flaked sea salt. You could use any sea salt, but for me, when it's a gift, molden sea salt is the only way to fly. You'll definitely want to let the popcorn dry out for 15 or 20 minutes before you package it up. I truly believe this is the perfect snack to curl up on the couch with and watch your favorite holiday flick. For me, that is How the Grinch Stole Christmas the original How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the animated one. 
I hope you'll give these tasty recipes a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo, because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchen. And, of course, don't forget to check out my Made With Love ebook. A link to it is in the description box below. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek, because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.